In this live Joe Staff training video and walking stick for self-defense training video, you're gonna learn how to use your walking stick, whether it's a 54 inch Joe, maybe you have an Irish shillelagh, this one's a little bit longer than most, but it's still a walking stick. They're very effective in self-defense. You'll learn how to use a walking stick for self-defense and do some Joe Staff training because they double as each other. This is really just a walking stick. This is really just a Joe Staff. So we're gonna start with a basic warm up in the middle of your hand, or your hand in the middle of the staff. You're gonna turn it from side to side. I wanna get the blood to flow into the joint. I use the weight of the staff. You're gonna use the weight of your staff to turn your wrist around, and you're gonna build power in your forearm, power in your grip. You're gonna get blood into the wrist joint so that you can stay safe from injury while you're getting more flexible, improving your mobility, getting stronger, so you can defend yourself using your walking stick. From here, I put it in the other hand, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Just twisting from side to side. Hello, Ed, it's good to see you. We're twisting, we're warming up properly. You're gonna get stronger faster when you do the same warm up every time. It might feel monotonous at first. After a while, you won't wanna train without it because it keeps you safe from injury. Now, after you've done that, I'm gonna have you do a Joe Staff training warm up with a Joe Staff training spin. This is how to use your walking stick for self-defense but I want you to push your staff straight in front of your body, turn your hand over and let the backside come forward. Now, if we say this is the threat right here, this is the enemy, this is the bad guy, he's trying to hit me. Um, <clears throat> Hello, Richard, it's good to see everybody. I'm going to bring that forward as fast as I can. Now, I said you can also use a regular walking stick, hiking stick, hiking pole. This is a long Irish shillelagh. If I'm holding this as a walking stick, he comes too close. I bring that up fast. This blackthorn wood, which is very heavy, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Or this Hickory Joe. Now I put a link to each one of these below. So if you wanna see, the first link is the Joe, the self-defense walking stick. The second one is an Irish shillelagh. But you bring your hand forward, you turn it over, it comes up, it's hitting the side of his head for self-defense, or maybe into the arm, into the body. And I want you to use that motion in your warm-up today. And you want you to go side to side. In both of these, by the way, you can do that reverse strike. That's also an effective strike. You can strike over the top, strike coming from the other side, depending on what you need to do for self-defense. And practicing the spin puts both of those strikes together, allowing you to disguise repetition so you get stronger faster. Pull your stomach up and in, tuck your chin, get your other hand up. This is your right hand, put your right foot forward. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. You'll know when to increase the speed. Always keep your hand closed. This is not the way to do it. Always having your hand closed. Do this for 30 seconds. Put it into your other hand and same thing. Your arm goes straight, your thumb points to the ground. Your thumb comes up like you're hitching a ride, coming back across the body. Other hand is up. This is your left hand. Put your left foot forward, stomach up and in, tuck the chin. Abs tight, get everything tight, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Make this a workout, a fighting workout. You're learning how to defend yourself using your walking stick. You can defend yourself with a walking stick, it's very simple. Let me just get right into it. The first thing I'm gonna have you do since you've warmed up, holding it in this hand, you're gonna reach in and thrust right into the soft tissue of someone's face. The bad guy, it's his face, his nose, his eyes, his throat, maybe into the solar plexus. You can go a little bit lower. With that first motion, you're gonna practice full extension of the arm and thrusting. Pick a target, imagine it in your mind, and thrust. You don't have to have a target to strike. Your other hand is always up. Exhale, turn through your shoulders and hips. That's what gives you knockout power, stopping power. You're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Put it into the other hand, the other hand is up. Now watch what that looks like with this Irish shillelagh. Again, this is a little bit longer than the average Irish shillelagh. It's so just a little bit taller. From here, at the end, you have this big burled knot of, uh, of wood, and inside, these are the way these are made, there's some lead shot in there, right? This is the perfect self-defense tool. This is the perfect prepper self-defense tool. It's like a gray man tool, gray man being somebody who blends in, you're able to pick that up and it's almost like sticking a big fist, big knuckle coming out of there, straight in, 
right through some of the soft tissue into the th uh, throat, into the, the chest, solar plexus, going a little lower, down into the ground. If you need to, for self-defense, just immediate, direct, and explosive. And the immediate part is like right now, direct is that shortest distance between the two points. It's a straight line from here. I go straight up. Don't lift and push. You're here. Hey, buddy, you're too close. And immediately respond. Immediate, direct, explosive. Push as fast as you can. Uh, Volga area, good to see you. Good afternoon. Thank you. Thanks for being here. So you're just going to ex extend here. Remember, turn through the shoulders and hips. Back to the Joe staff. This is Joe staff training. Train with a Joe staff to learn how to use some other walking stick better for self-defense. Maybe you trek. You're a trekker or you're a hiker. You use hiking staffs, hiking poles. All these motions work with the Joe martial arts staff, which is that first link below, or an Irish shillelagh, which is the second link below, or any hiking stick, any hiking pole. Now, from this position, I want you to turn over into that strike. So you can strike here, you can simply turn. If you need to respond quickly, just take one and turn it into the second one. From here, I thrust and then turn the hand down. Thrust, turn the hand down. It's two separate moves, so practice them as one, two, one, two, slow is smooth, smooth is fast, means that you'll do it again and again, 30 seconds per side, and then you'll start to go faster, faster, and faster, you'll get faster, stronger, your muscles will improve, your flexibility improves, throw it in the other hand, left hand, my right foot's forward, my right hand is up, you're too close, back up, I give a verbal command, learn how to give verbal commands. Don't say please, don't say you're making me nervous, don't say can you, can you back up, you say back up, boom, and then you're too close, right in, you stop them, and you do the second thrust. One, two, one, two. Now, from this second thrust, I want you to let it come into the back hand where you're gonna clear. Clearing means you're getting him out of there. The threat, he's coming at you. You're going to remove him from the dangerous position right in front of your body. You don't know what he's got. He might have other weapons. He might be one of many. You might have multiple attackers. You're gonna thrust, turn as it comes through, let it get into the other hand, and then bring this through. Now watch what's happening with my body because this is really important. If you've ever hit anything with your hiking stick or your Joe martial arts staff, you can feel a lot of the tension comes back into your hands, the um, vibration from the strike, right? And pressure. So if I push through my hand here, I feel that a lot in this wrist joint. You've probably done this. Or sometimes you'll feel it in this hand right here as you pull here, using your hands. However, if instead you turn your hips and shoulders, you don't feel it very much at all in your hands because your arms are stable and your whole body is striking. And you can see, even if you have strong arms, that's hard. That's a lot harder when you're turning shoulders and hips. You need stopping power to defend yourself against a stronger opponent, to defend yourself against multiple attackers, to somebody who has a weapon, you need to generate the most force possible. And you do that when you turn your shoulders and hips and don't just use your arms. Now, from here, this is one, this is two. I bring it through here and I want you to finish by thrusting straight through the middle. If for some reason this doesn't clear him out, you're going to use this as a pole and literally push him out. Or think about spear. Use this spear thrusting through the center of his body to finish the job if you can. Husman uh, or Humsan, it's good to see you. So from here, you're welcome, my pleasure. This is one, this is two, three, four, and five. And notice, you can see in the mirror a little bit that I'm stepping with that foot as I come forward. Good afternoon, Matthew. So from here, it's in the back hand. I thrust, I turn through, I bring it back, and I come in this way. Cannon, simplify. it's good to see you. I'm gonna do the same thing, showing you with the Irish shillelagh. This is just a version of a walking stick. It's a nice version of a walking stick. This was a gift from Doug, thank you, Doug. But this Irish shillelagh has this big, nasty knuckle on the end. It's almost like a fist or a hammer. It's got some lead shot in there. 
It's longer than most. It's perfect size for me. From here, Patrick, I can, Patrick says today he works with Hanbo. That's awesome, Patrick, keep training. One, two, three, four. It's the same motion. You can have a lecky trekking pole. You can have any, you can have a stick you picked up to use as a hiking staff as you walk through the, the forest or the woods. One, two, three, four. You might be out and about and you find a long umbrella. You need to defend yourself. He's got a bladed weapon. One, two, three, four. And I want you to practice that. Just like last week, I had you practice. Um, let me grab the, the Joe staff, see if I can remember. In the front hand, thrust, block, change position, thrust, block, change position, thrust, block, changing feet. We did that in the last Joe staff training using the walking stick for self-defense. You can do the same thing here. You can thrust, pull, or thrust, block, smash with this big shillelagh hammer. And then you're on the other side, thrust, block, smash, thrust, block, smash. So the point is, learn how to defend yourself using a Joe martial arts staff or any stick. Maybe you have a broom, a broom handle, but make sure it's nice and solid. This is made of hickory, it's the first link below. These are hard to destroy. I would say this is probably even harder to destroy, but I'm not gonna test it. This is too beautiful, this is too nice. But learn how to practice with what you've got. Start with what you've got, invest your time before you invest your money, but when you're ready, look at those links below and see what a small investment it really is for your safety, your health, your well-being. All right, now, it's still in the back hand, I want you to pull it into the front hand and I want you to thrust, slide your hand and strike over top. I wanted to give you two combinations to practice today. The first one, <clears throat> excuse me, the first one being the push, turn, come through and thrust, which is mostly just one foot forward. But this one, I want you to get your feet moving. You're gonna bring this hand in. You're gonna do this overhand thrust, kind of like a rifle bayonet attack from here. But then I want you to slide and drop. I want, you to I want you to get in the habit of coming forward with the back hand. I'm here, thrust, smash. Thrust, smash. But that's too easy, and I know you can do more, so I'm gonna have you do this, thrust, and step. Taking a step with the same side that's pushing down with the right hand. Uh, Patrick's got a whole, he's working with all the martial arts. Congratulations, Patrick's, that's a smart plan. One, two. Do this first, one, two. Get, get used to this feel, pushing and sliding. And remember, as you come forward here, you're also accelerating the power in the attack, the speed, the power, the velocity, by pushing down with this hand. So it's in the back hand, I thrust, slide. Now, let me see if I can get back far enough, you can see my feet. I'm here, one, two, and step with this foot. So from here, one, two. Then I put in the back hand, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Lift it up to the side, thrust, and step. Replacing my feet, goes in the back hand. One, two, goes in the back hand. Block, strike, thrust, or uh, straight down on top. Goes in the back hand. So one, two. And then once you get comfortable with that, I want you to start to step off to the angle so that you're not even there when he comes in for the attack. So from this position, as you lift, I want you to step. So from here, step. This lifting motion is blocking, right? So I'm stepping off the angle and then I thrust and I step in with the attack. So from here, step off the angle, thrust, step in and strike, put it in the back hand. As I lift, I step to the other side, and then as I slice forward, I take a step with that foot, and then it's in this hand. So facing you, it looks like this, strike, and then face you, reset to the center line, and then lift to the side, step and strike. Now this, this is mostly for Studer. Studer, when you watch this, I knew that we were gonna work today. I wanted to make sure you had something to work with on your angles as you upgrade your staff skills. So from here, as you lift, step in on the strike. 
backhand, lift, step on the strike, backhand, lift, step. And you can see, you can hear how this is getting me out of wind, right? It's also my constant yap, yapping. <laughs> that's, that's taking my breath away too. But mostly I'm pouring sweat. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm super sweaty. And it's because as you start to do these exercises and you start to move your feet, you start to move in, move your feet, and you move in, you're gonna get your heart rate up. You're gonna inactivate more muscles. You're gonna improve your posture. You're gonna get stronger faster, but you're gonna lean out faster. You guys have been awesome. I have to go back. I'm teaching the kids today. We're doing uh, duck walk, bear crawl, jumps. We added jumps, frog jumps, big leaps, over things, on uh, things. Yeah, thanks, Hank. Hank says the const he constantly laps too. It's a gift. Um, gorilla. The gorilla, the gorilla is one of the best things you can do. I'll show you how to do these exercises, but you gotta slow, start slowly. And then uh, uh, crab walk, turns into a donkey kick. Those are the hardest so far for me, for me, not for the kids. More jumps, and then handstands. Some of the kids can do walking on their hands, so I'll let them do a version of whatever. They have to at least attempt a handstand, and we finish with a burpee. Everybody loves the burpee. You guys have been awesome. I will see you on the next one, hopefully later today.